The downward dog pose is a great way to stretch your whole body. It is a yoga and meditation pose that can help relieve pain in the hamstrings that comes from sitting for long periods of time. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to performing downward dog stretch pose. First, get on your hands and knees. Begin on the floor with your hands separated by shoulder width and your shoulders over your wrists. Align the index fingers of your inner shoulders. Your hips should be at or slightly above knee height. Second, extend your legs. As you lengthen your legs and lift both knees into the air, tuck your toes into the mat or the ground. At this point, your body ought to resemble an upside-down V. Third, increase the length. Extend and lengthen your spine while pressing your palms and the soles of your feet together. Pull your pelvis up toward the ceiling and use the triceps on your upper arms to help you stay in shape. Some yoga teachers say to bring your shoulder blades down your back, while others say to twist your joints outward to support your body. Strongly contract your quads to relieve your arms of the weight of your body. This movement significantly contributes to the restful nature of the stance. Fourth, you must hold, and when you already felt the maximum stretch point of your muscles, and then let go. Maintain your body stance while breathing appropriately. Return your knees to the floor slowly to release this asana, or use it to move into another posture. Here are some suggestions for performing a better downward dog pose. Make light movements. You don't have to bounce up into position after getting on all four steps we discussed about. For beginners, smaller motions, such as coming down onto your forearms first, like a modified plank, before slowly straightening up your legs, may be more acceptable. You can also use yoga blocks to prop up your hands and make the stretch simpler to complete. Alter the position of your heels. If it's hard for you to stretch your legs while keeping your back straight, try moving your heels. Allow your heels to naturally rise off the mat rather than keeping them flat on the ground. When you're ready, try slowly moving your heels down onto the mat to deepen the stretch. Maintain a bent knee. When doing this stretch, don't overextend your legs or lock your knees. This can put too much stress on your joints or cause you to get hurt. To achieve proper stability, keep your legs as straight as possible while keeping a tiny bend in the knee. Try not to tuck your tailbone in. For the duration of this stretch, keep your back straight. Tilt your pelvis forward to keep your spine straight and your back from curving. 